by Vadim Gerda and Yuras Karmanokio, Ukraine, AP, residents of the bombarded suburbs of Ukraine's capital snaked their way across the slippery wooden planks of a makeshift bridge that provided the only way to escape Russian shelling, amid renewed efforts Wednesday to rescue civilians from Bessi. With sporadic gunfire echoing behind them, firefighters dragged an elderly man to safety in a wheelbarrow, a child gripped the hand of a helping soldier, and a woman inched her way along cradling a fluffy cat inside her winter coat. On the far side of the bridge, they all trudged past a crashed van with the words Are Ukraine written in the dust coating its windows. We have a short window of time at the moment, said Yevhen Mishchuk, a member of Ukraine's Territorial Defense Forces. Even if there is a ceasefire right now, there is a high risk of shells falling at any moment. Thousands of people are thought to have been killed, both civilians and soldiers, in two weeks of fighting since President Vladimir Putin's forces invaded Ukraine. The UN estimates that more than 2 million people have fled the country, the biggest exodus of refugees in Europe since the end of World War II. The crisis is likely to get worse as Russian forces step up their bombardment of cities throughout the country in response to stronger-than-expected resistance from Ukrainian forces. Russian losses have been far in excess of what Putin and his generals expected, CIA Director William Burns said Tuesday. In addition to the humanitarian crisis unfolding in many of Ukraine's cities, concerns for the safety of its nuclear plants amid fighting has raised alarm worldwide. On Wednesday, the decommissioned Chernobyl nuclear site was knocked off the power grid and forced to switch on to generators. That raised concern about the plant's ability to keep nuclear fuel safely cool, though the U nuclear watchdog said it saw no critical impact on safety from the power cut. The diesel generators at Chernobyl, site of the world's worst nuclear accident in 1986, have fuel for 48 hours, power grid operator Ukrainerho said. The plant was shut down in 2000, but the deserted site still stores spent nuclear fuel from Chernobyl and other nuclear plants around Ukraine. Authorities announced a new ceasefire on Wednesday to allow civilians to escape from towns around the capital, Kyiv, as well as the southern cities of Mariupol, Emirhadar, and Vonovaka, Izium in the east and Sumy in the northeast. Previous attempts to establish safe evacuation corridors have largely failed due to attacks by Russian forces. It wasn't immediately clear how successful Wednesday's new effort was, 